Hey guys, I just finished a book today. It's called um, How Small Businesses Trade Will Ride. And it's by John Whaley. Um, it's, uh, it's 349 pages. Uh, and it's kind of a bigger book, so it took me about two days to finish it. Uh, <coughs> I just got done tonight and mostly it was a good book it was a good book it was about uh, importing and that's what I'm going to be doing is uh, become an uh, importer and uh, yeah it's a really great resource I learned I learned uh, some key stuff from him um, especially in the beginning part the beginning part he really nailed down the idea of trying to uh, be the innovator and uh, this is what I really got out of it um, relationships are key um, toward whatever um, country you're training with but the relationship with the whoever who you either the factory or the agents it's got to be really close. You got to have you got to have trust with them. Uh, you got to buy you have to find the best to uh, trade with and relationship is key. And that's why I really got out of that one that part. And then um you're either going to be the in innovator or the conservator or something like that. But obviously, the like really big companies like Walmart, they they f try to find products that that uh, are tested, that are really low risk, and they discount their prices. But the innovator, they you know they don't. I don't know, they, they, they keep, they design their products and they make it where they don't have to discount it or something like that. I don't know, but innovating your product and not going through the whole hassle of what they're doing, they do discounted, we do it our own way. That's how it is. That's what I got out of that part. And then, um... Solving brothers problems for other is the value. So uh, you know you, you're going to a market that there isn't. There's like maybe one or two particular people, or particular places that you can get stuff, and there's not a lot of options. And you could like solve that problem and fill fill that void if there is one and just innovate and really use creativity to um, really expand this uh, market and you could have a head start on this and the other the competition will be left behind and they'll try to be catching up and stuff so that's why I got that and then uh, customers are a priority it's the customers if you don't bring the customers if you don't have customers waiting for you then it's not gonna work because um, your items have to sell by themselves I mean if you don't have customers you're not gonna have sales so customers are really important you're gonna have to treat them right you're gonna have to um, really you don't want to have a really bad reputation if you have bad customer service then that means your reputation has to go down and your reputation has to do a lot with your uh, especially if you're growing if your company is growing or whatever so that's why I got all that and then uh, enthusiasm is contagious if you're going to organize your business if you're going to research everything 
do this, do that. You only have to have, you only have to have enthusiasm because it's contagious. If you don't have enthusiasm, then people will see through that and see that mm, mm, this is not how it's supposed to be. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to believe you, but it's that enthusiasm that attracts people, it attracts folks. It's real. It's the real deal. If if your enthusiasm attracts customers, then that's the way to go. And this uh, what I got mostly out of this book. So uh, it's real nice. He actually explained that since I'm a startup, I probably won't be getting a line of credit or anything like that. So I want to use other means. But um, yeah, mostly a good book middle section, the middle toward the end section is kinda not my thing but um, it was not for me but you know the beginning part was really good so um, that's how I'll rate it so see y'all later